Hey guys, yes, I know it's been a while since I filmed a mixology video and I gotta admit I missed it So we're finally back with another video and yeah, let's just get started first I'm gonna mix a green pretty self-explanatory then we're going to mix a medium pink I guess you could call it um, I'm gonna split this up into two so we're going to start off with a, a lighter pink and then a really light pink but I'm going to go back into that and I'm actually going to add some purple to this pink because I wanted to have a mauve undertone. And next we're going to mix something I know that you guys have actually been waiting for me to do for a really long time now. So I'm going to show you how to mix a black. So as you guys know from our desaturation video, when you add opposite colors to each other, they desaturate them. So we're going to mix an orange and a blue. And this is actually going to give us a really deep color, but this is kind of like navy. Every now and then you can kind of check it because like I said, proportion Portions are important so you just mix it till it looks about right so as you can see I may have a black and just to check that I'm going to add a little bit of white and as you can see it's gray which means it's black and lastly I'm just gonna mix this black actually with a red to make a burgundy wine color and I also mixed an orange sorry I didn't show you that. Let's get on to the demo. Um, I'm going to of course apply my base coat and then cure that in an LED or a UV lamp. So now I'm just going to take my colors and I'm applying them really randomly to the nail. Um, I'm actually not curing in between doing this as well. So you can just kind of slap all of these on. You can make them really sheer. You can make them really bold. It's entirely up to you. This is just what I did. And if you guys aren't familiar with working with gel, basically you um, don't have to be concerned with curing in between your layers when you're using different colors as long as you're not touching other products. So if you don't want to shear, thin, or blend them out, it's absolutely fine to not cure in between. However, as you can see right here, I'm overlapping my burgundy over top of another color, so of course I need that layer to be dry. So now we're just going to apply a top coat and I'm going to go ahead and again cure that in an LED or a UV lamp. Then I'm actually going to go back into this nail and I'm going to apply more top coat. However, I'm creating a box shape in the center of the nail. After I create this box shape, I'm actually going to again cure that in an LED or UV lamp and then I'm going to be left over with the tacky layer. So the reason that I'm doing this is because I'm going to be applying some gold, le some gold leaf leaf or gold foil yes I'm gonna be applying some gold foil and I only wanted to stick to the areas that I wanted to stick to so I'm actually just taking the piece of paper that the gold foil comes on and pressing that down just to make sure that it's nice and adhered that little stuff is kind of important just because we're going to go back in with the brush and this is basically going to uh, get rid of anything that we don't want to be there so if it's not stuck it ain't staying I sealed the gold leaf in with some top coat. After curing, I then applied some clear gel just to hold on some gold studs. These are kind of like the grommets on our metal. And then again, I sealed in my 3D elements with some top coat. After you cure in the LED or UV lamp, you just want to remove that inhibition layer that's left over. And then we're done, guys. I hope you guys liked that tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and share. And I know I promised you guys a regular nail polish edition, which will be coming soon. It's probably going to be after the holidays though because, man, my schedule is full. Um, but if you haven't seen the other videos from this series, then make sure you click on one of these three videos. You want to see some donuts? Huh? Huh? Huh?